Tagarisa County is often characterized by insecurity, courtesy of a porous border with Somalia. And on to many, the county is a safe haven to a rare species of the white giraffe and the native Hirola antelope. Rakil Magia visited Ijara constituency where a local community conservancy is protecting these animals and have vowed to change Garissa's narrative. <laughs> Just 86 kilometers from the coastal town of Lamu. Lies a Jara constituency in Garissa County. Though so hidden, the area is home to the Ishak Bini Community Conservancy, which is slowly but surely earning the area a spot in the global map on matters tourism. It was starting in the year 2007, and the purpose of uh, starting this conservancy was to conserve the, the wildlife and mainly the Hirola. Ishak Bini Community Conservancy covers an area of 19,000 hectares, densely populated by shrubs, different bird species, and unique wildlife. The white giraffe is a rare spectacle and a delight to the local residents who managed to sport it in 2017. And as rare as it is, it took us hours to sport it from the many giraffes in the conservancy, as if to show that it totally knows its uniqueness. The white giraffe is a female and a sub-adult. But I am a female and a sub-adult. And I am a female and a while many will be quick to label the giraffe as albino, conservationists say that the giraffe most likely suffers from a genetic condition called leukism, which inhibits skin cells from producing pigment but allows other organs like eyes to be dark colored. This totally different from albinism, which is a congenital condition that inhibits the body from producing pigment in all organs, as animals with the condition mostly have pink eyes. However, that is not the only unique feature of this conservancy, as it is also a haven for the world's rarest and most endangered Hirola antelope. Its body is covered in light brown fur with white eyebrow markings on the face, with with two superbly carved and rippled horns rising from the animal's brow, making them effective weapons for defense or breeding season disputes. Its neck is, however, quite short by antelope standards. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has put it in the red list that Hirola is critically endangered, and if we will not take any effort to bring back the population, we may totally lose Hirola. The population of Hirola, like many other endangered species, has declined due to the loss of its habitat, drought and diseases. Despite the government's effort in translocating the Hirolas to Savo East several times, there was no increase in its population. Such a trial, however, is one the community is not up for. The community, they, I may accept to do another sanctuary within the natural range of Hirola, but taking this animal to another part of Kenya or outside the country, they may not accept. The Somali community in Ijara has already felt the benefits of the conservancy, ranging from employment, availability of clean water, pasture and drugs for their livestock. And with the help of the Kenya Wildlife Service, the Garissa County Government, the Northern Rangelands Trust, among other agencies, the locals are hopeful that this conservancy will change the region's outlook. When a visitor comes here, he may he just like to come and do, kind of move around and see the animals. So that person will charge him 2000 And uh, if you want to come here, we have campsites, we charge him that uh, night uh, 3000 Well, 5000 shillings isn't too much to spare, isn't it? At least you will have enjoyed the rare spectacles, as well as having played a significant role in promoting local tourism. The presence of the native Hirola antelope and the white giraffe are the unique features of this little pocket of heaven that is the Ishak Bin Community Conservancy. The community here clinging to hope that this unique wildlife will get to change the narrative of Garissa.